Hey guys, V8s here with another video review. Up for review today we have the highly anticipated release from the upcoming Star Wars movie, uh, the Droid BB-8. Uh, this is made by a company called Sphero. Uh, it is basically a droid that you control via an app on your smartphone. Let's start by looking at the box. Uh, the droid comes in a hard uh, cardboard box uh, that basically gives you an overview of the uh, capabilities of the droid and uh, what to expect. Uh, nice and colorful with uh, a lot of information. It's uh, a typical shoe style box in the sense the uh, top cover can be slipped uh, over the uh, bottom layer if you recently bought an iPhone that's the same type of box uh, the internal box is something uh, really nice and I think they've made it out to resemble a crate as if you've actually bought uh, the droid it's a nice touch and uh, much appreciated uh, whenever companies uh, you know go the extra mile to uh, uh, look into their packaging. It's always a welcome uh, experience from us consumers. Uh, once you open up uh, the box, uh, it's a uh, flip open type and uh, you remove this uh, cardboard layer to reveal the droid and uh, its charging base. Uh, you also get a charging cable. Assembly is pretty straightforward. You just take the head and pop it onto the body via the magnet. Uh, very simple. Let's start uh, the review by looking at the app. Uh, you will need to download the app for your phone whether it's uh, an iOS device or an Android and uh, once you start it up you get, you get the f familiar Star Wars uh, theme and uh, BB-8 in the background. Uh, the, uh, what it asks you to do at, at the beginning is uh, sync it up with the droid. Just uh, hold your phone next to the droid and it will connect via Bluetooth. Uh, once you do it the first time you will find that you will need to upgrade the firmware as you can see in the background. Uh, it's pretty fast depending on your connection and uh, once you're done uh, you can begin uh, action uh, and accessing the features. This is what the main menu looks like. Uh, the first uh, is a drive option. Uh, to control BB-8 uh, this is what you will use most of the time and uh, here you can see that we're cycling through the various options that are available uh, one is a yes one is a no another is uh, what I like to call the uh, panic mode uh, next is a function that allows him to move in a straight line You have a second layer of menus here, uh, again a couple of them allow you to uh, uh, move the droid in a preset uh, uh, motion. Uh, this one is uh, more or less like a malfunction uh, voice. Next you can see the message where you can uh, record the hologram setting. Uh, this is how you can personalize it. You click on it and it uh, opens up the front camera so you can take uh, a video. Third is the patrol mode where BB-8 will just go on on his own. And last is the setting screen. Uh, pretty basic setting functions uh, in terms of uh, sounds etc. The next is uh, the versions and the types. The third is a demo mode in case you would need that. Now this is the feature that uh, everyone was excited about. And if you remember the scene from the first movie, you understand the importance. Uh, basically this is uh, using augmented reality where you uh, hover your phone over the figure and display a pre-recorded message as you can see or you can record your own. Uh, pretty cool and uh, you know brings back memories from the first movie. Uh, never gets old since you can record multiple messages and it's a nice touch. Uh, 
it, the, it gets a bit difficult to uh, position it right but once you get the hang of it uh, it's pretty straightforward and the effect is pretty awesome especially for kids moving on to the menu that you will spend most of your time at which is the drive before you set up bb8 for a drive you would come to this screen and the objective of this is uh, you use the menu on the right to position the light to face you and once you do that you get him oriented correctly and driving him around is pretty straightforward like you would do any radio controlled uh, toy and uh, the way the sphere works is pretty amazing uh, the effect is lovely and really emulates the way this droid moves uh, hats off to Spiro for doing that uh, in this in this section of the video we'll go through the different options we just saw the yes now this is the no uh, these are actions you can get BB-8 to do to excite uh, the any any person who's checking him out this is what I call the panic mode it looks like he, he, he's panicking and uh, the next one is what I call the malfunction mode. Uh, you know, maybe he took a hit from a, uh, from a stormtrooper and just uh, went into a malfunction mode. Uh, a lovely toy that uh, really brings all the movies uh, back to life. Pretty exciting. Uh, well worth the money, right? And. Uh, if uh, I'm sure this droid will uh, be the next best thing after R2D2. A couple of things you need to be aware of. Uh, this guy needs a lot of space and if you're not careful, this is gonna happen. He's gonna drop off. Uh, another thing I found out is if you're a bit vigorous with him, you could actually get the head to come off in terms of magnet. But he doesn't lose any functionality as you can see, but it's something you need to be careful of. Uh, so what do I think about this droid? Honestly, if you're a Star Wars fan uh, and uh, you're a droid fan or you pretty, love, pretty much love gadgets, this is something I would highly recommend. Uh, I'm, I'm giving it an A- minus just because of the price. The price is about $150 and it's sold out everywhere. So if you can get one, please don't hesitate. Get it immediately. To wrap up, uh, thank you for watching. If you've uh, enjoyed this video, I would uh, really appreciate if you'd uh, like, share, comment and subscribe. Uh, I really welcome feedback and I'm always looking for ways to improve my videos. Uh, until I see you next time, this is V8 tuning out.